I was getting ready to lay my egg. Really? I have to sit through a bird's memory of this guy. <laughs> okay. Ghost code 342B dictates that the custodian must be a ghost who has been dead on this island for at least a thousand days. And we don't have that long. Let's get going, Morris. Our first prospect is Peter Noach. Wow, oh, flying! Oh, this feels nice! <laughs> what? Uh, oh, right. Oh, <laughs> you kind of forget about it after a while. <sighs> oh, you always was impressed with this yoga center. Pete seemed like a chap who went through some tough times, and creating this place really seemed to help him. Yep, and it's still going strong. They're always busy with folks from the mainland. Uh, yoga center run by a robot. <laughs> How things change. <laughs> well, it seems to be working out, though. So, the Pete's a ghost. So how do we find him? Well, remember that clue I sent you from inside my urn? The tag? Um, yeah. Right. So that was something special to me while I was alive that helped me channel my ghost. A kind of... Momentum. Now we gotta find something so special to Pete. The ghost of Peter Noach, and to do that, we need to find his mementos. And how are we gonna do that? By looking into the memories of those who loved him best. People. Well, talking isn't gonna do it, so let's get to coming it. Coming out of their heads. Those are a sign you'll be able to dive into that person's memory. Hmm, I suppose that's hardly the strangest thing I've heard today. Oh, Ooh. Morris, just you wait. Now, to recap. Find people who are close to Peter. View their memories. Track down the mementos. Look for the speech bubbles, the thought bubbles. So people, then memories, then mementos, then... All right. Memories. Yeah, think I get the idea. Okay, let's go. Yes, please. Ooh. I really like the art style, man. Even though, like... Sparky looks kind of messed up, but, you know. Pete arrived on Chelmerston to take the job of lighthouse keeper. He led a solitary life for several years, seldom visiting the town and speaking only rarely, before opening the lighthouse as a yoga retreat with the help of a robot called M, or E.M. Alright. Okay. Well... Doesn't seem to be this. All right. Whoa, whoa! What is all this weirdness? Oh, there's some bubbles. Bulb room. So <laughs> it's a room entirely for bulbs. All right. Yoga retreat until. It oh, I thought that was a woman. But it's a hipster. I met Pete for the first time on a yoga retreat in Goa. He was the best yoga teacher, but very reserved. I noticed he had some army tattoos. I wanted to ask about them, but he would never talk about himself. Okay. That's your fond memory? What the hell? Okay. What am I supposed to do here? Oh. Like, okay. Alright. When I got home, I looked him up. I couldn't believe it. He'd been with special forces in Helmand and was awarded a medal for bravery. Pete's unit had been in an ambush. He tried to save a colleague whose leg had been blown off, but by the time they'd reached base, it was too late. Pete was the only survivor. Okay. There you go. He's just talking, Pete. I booked the retreat again the next year. I thought he was such an interesting bloke. Still waters, you know. And one evening, after class, I sort of... I followed him down to the... Let's call an apple an apple, all right? You were stalking him. into the water and went to have a look. Picked it out of the shallows before it was washed away. It was his medal. I picked it up. Okay. This is like super trippy. And, I mean, I know what, what I'm supposed to do, but. 
I went back to go the following year, but Pete wasn't teaching and it just wasn't the same. Not as good. Then, a couple of years later, I saw an online ad for his new retreat in a lighthouse. I booked immediately. I took the medal with me. Perhaps he would want it back. Yeah, maybe he shouldn't have taken it in the first place. I don't like this guy. Seems like a real creepo. Creepo? What am I talking about? It was the same Pete Noach, and if anything, he was an even better teacher. One coffee break, when I got him on his own, I brought up Helmand in conversation. I wish I hadn't. It was like a shutter coming down. I, I didn't mention the medal. Okay, cool. I just have to keep doing this for like a really long time, I suppose. <laughs> Hey, okay, no, no, hey, there you go. I kept coming back for the yoga, and you know, over the years I saw Pete Mello. I think the lighthouse was doing him good. He even cracked a joke with the group once in a while. So, that summer, the one before he died, I decided to act. It was the day I was leaving and I showed him his medal. There was a moment- And all of this is for drugs. one memento? I was worried then. Damn. But he took it. He turned it over in his hand. The poor guy was lost for words. He gave me a nod of thanks and slipped it into his pocket. I'm glad he got it back. All right. I'm not even sure what this is supposed. Oh, there you go. That kind of looks like the picture. Oh, no, 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 no. Up, up, up. All right. Is that not it? Oh, Pete. Oh, he had no idea. What? All right. All of that for one memento. The bird has a memory of it. What the hell? All right. I was getting ready to lay my egg. Really? I have to sit through a bird's memory of this guy. <laughs> okay. Alright, let's see you lay that egg. But my nest needed that little something extra. Okay. Did you take his medal? No, you took a Rubik's Cube. Okay. That's weird. I found the perfect thing. The human and that metal beast seemed quite agitated at their loss. What? What metal beast? I always hated those blooming things. Alright. Hey, that's the robot. Alright. What up, Em? What do you remember of Pete? When Pete arrived at the lighthouse, he needed help running it, but refused all offers. Eventually, fearing the possibility of a shipwreck, Trinity House sent me to Shelmerston to help keep things running smoothly. Alright. <laughs> so this guy just had a robot assistant teaching yoga? How does a robot even do yoga, man? Well, I guess we'll find out pretty soon. Oh, okay. You can, like, row a boat. Cool. I bought Pete a plant as a welcome present. He introduced himself very quietly, but didn't seem to want to say anything else. He seemed distracted, like gravity was pressing down on him harder than other people. I am probably gonna be like skipping some of this. Cause if not, like we'll be here for like hours just listening to random nonsense. Whenever I would enter a room, Pete would mutter some excuse to leave. Yeah, I would be pretty creeped out if a robot was following me around like claiming to be months. able to teach yoga or something. Alright. 
eventually, Pete noticed the plant. What, you didn't tell him about it? Alright. Then, Pete noticed me. What do you mean, he noticed you? That was the start of what became this plant. If he was leaving the room every time you entered, like, I'm sure he knew that you were around. Sowing seeds and tending our plants together. Wow. Robots got complicated, didn't they? <laughs> yeah, I didn't realize how important M was to Pete. I suppose everyone needs a friend. Ah, huh, Sparky. I gotta sit through two more of this. Alright, what do you remember? Sofa. Alright, this elven looking woman. Jennifer Leslie. Alright. I just got divorced and really wanted to go on a golfing holiday, but my best mate Tammy somehow told Please me she to speaks go quickly. Instead. I'll give her that. Thanks for that, Leslie or Jennifer. How do you have two first names as your name? Whatever. Yoga made me feel weird and uncomfortable. After the first day, I'd basically given up. I thought Pete was a bit angry with me. Looks hard to tell. All right. So you stopped after one day. Great. Exploring the lighthouse, I came across Pete's set of clubs. Bingo, I thought. I wondered where I could practice my drive. What, you just thought you could take it? I took the clubs up to the observation deck and spent all afternoon perfecting my stroke. The sun was shining. It was the best time I'd had all week. Suddenly, I was aware of Pete watching me. My heart sank, and I braced myself for a telling Yeah, off. you stole the man's clubs. What did you expect? Well, let me guess, he was really nice about it. How wrong I was. Pete cracked a smile and joined in. Yep, I Every knew it. <laughs> that week, we were up on that observation deck, driving balls into the sea. <laughs> I guess old Pete had a light side after all. Well, wasn't that fun? I'm super interested in what Pete's life was like. Just tell me what to do, what to get, and let's move on with it. Pete was hard to read, you know? Strong, silent type. But you could tell he loved his collection of Buddhas. He said they were like fat little soldiers that kept him safe. Whoa. That's kind of mean. I thought that was a bit odd. One day... One of the Buddhas went missing. Pete was distraught. Not much affected him, so it was a shock for everyone to see how upset he was. To cheer him up, M bought Pete a little toy robot. You could tell Pete was delighted. The robot bought the guy a tiny robot? <laughs> okay. That's... I guess that's a good enough gift, but... What a lovely gesture. She was a good friend, that M. Am I done? Can I move on with my life? Oh, uh, so I gotta look for these things, I suppose. Yo, do you have it? I met oh, no, 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 oh, no, 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 I don't, I don't want to listen to you ever again. It's not in this thing, it's not in that side table. So, did you hide it inside something? Hey, there it is. Yeah. I guess you can't call it Rubik's Cube because it's Dogs are actually very I was good talking, at Sparky. These. They're just hard for us to turn. All right, Sparky. All right, one out of five. Cool. Okay, 
Let's find some more memories. Yeah, I was working on that before you decided to interrupt me. Oh, maybe it's in the case. It probably is in the case. Yep, it's in the case. <laughs> what was this weird, like, like stop frame animation this thing? This is a conspicuous gallantry cross. Yeah, that's what it said. I don't give those to just anybody. All right. Is this game made for kids? <laughs> maybe it is. Well, I'm kind of enjoying it so far, even though they talk a lot, but it's still fun. I'm looking for a specific plant, really. Okay. No, okay. I just found it. Ugh. Dogs hate all fruit. I'm not going near this, Morris. All right. No one asked you to, Sparky. <laughs> Actually, I prefer if you just didn't interrupt me. Starting to pick up the scent of something else here. I think it's Grenkins. What? Yeah, they're tiny spirits, distant relations of the island spirit. Apparently, they bring good luck. When we get close to one, I'll pop up and let you know. I'm sure you will. <laughs> Would you forgot to talk now? Okay, we're in the right place. But now we need to slice and rotate this object. All right. Aha, uh -huh, okay. So that's what we gotta do. <laughs> that's a grunk. <laughs> okay. Cool. Whoa, that's a lot of grunkins. <laughs> this is a fun word to say. Yaps, head, lighthouse, the. Okay, I thought these were names. Okay. Cool. So there's like a few of them in here. All right, I'll keep looking. What could this be? Golf clubs, maybe? Well, I found the tea. No sign of the Glenkin, though. How many <laughs> golf balls are in the sea around this lighthouse? Probably a whole bunch. If I was to take a guess. Okay, so that's four of those. I mean, that kind of looks like these four dots, right? Do I have to find the Grunkins? Probably not. Alright, that's definitely a shoe. Yeah, that's definitely the shoes, right? Is that not it? I mean, this is as close to the picture as I can get, man. Maybe it's these ones? Okay. It's definitely... Oh, whoa, whoa, hey. Cool. What did we have like stashed in here though? Military map and a compass. Cool. That's kind of smart, I suppose. I still gotta find the statue, right? It's not in there. I don't wanna find more Grankins. Oh, there you go. Well, that's gotta be it, right? What's the point of finding these Grankins? That's a real question. Is it in... Oh, the... it... What? <laughs> okay. It actually was in the vacuum cleaner. Oh, what a nice little fella. I'm, I'm pretty sure him. this game is supposed to be for kids. Because it definitely talk to you like you're a child. Okay, that's all of the mementos. Finally. Now what do we have to do? Wow, I'm getting a really strong scent. Well done. I should easily be able to sniff out Peter's spirit now. All right then. Uh, what do you need me to do? Absolutely nothing. You're useless, Just let Morris. Me do my thing. All right. Be free, Sparky. Do your thing. There's many things in the world you haven't seen, Morris. Oh, those things, eh? Yep. I mean, yep. Those are all of Pete's fragments. What? I just need to round them up. Oh, go get them, girl. Oh. <laughs> oh. It looks really cool, though. 
Огород надо. Alright. Look at him, man. That face. It was just like, whoa, whoa, what's going on? What are you doing, dog? Yeah, army and yoga master Pete. Cool. Pete? Oh, wow. It's really you. It's me, Morris. Morris Lupton. <laughs> Of course I remember you, Morris. It's lovely to see you. I thought Pete's gonna be like, oh man, I finally, I thought like after I died, I would get rid of you, but like, now you're dead and you're come here to like annoy me. We've come to ask you something. Do you know about the custodian? The custodian? Mm -hmm. the, the person who communes with the island, yes? I've noticed the volcano looks like it's... Yes, well, that's the thing. Now we I can skip dialogue, cool. Do you want to be oh. the custodian? Oh, Morris. I I'm flattered, but... I don't think I'm the one for this job. I spent my whole life, and my whole afterlife, trying to find peace. And lately, I think I found it. Until you came and disturbed me. I don't want to stay around any longer. Yeah, that's cool, Would that's right want to come with me? No. No, I don't. I do really need to help find a new custodian. I understand. All right then. Hmm. Well, that didn't go well. Oh, no worries, Morris. Plenty of other prospects. Well, four. Hey, Pete mentioned going into the West. What is that? We need to go find Val. They're opening the sculpture park today. All right, I, I think we're gonna find Val in the next video. I'm enjoying this game so far, so I'll definitely be doing more videos of it in the future. So I'm gonna leave this off right here, and see you guys next time.